Okay, so today what we're going to work on is, I have not done one of these in a while, but we are going to do our Friday at Five item challenge. So we have our five items, one, two, three, four, five. So I just put a little water on this. I sprayed this down so I can kind of straighten it out. I was not going to iron it. <laughs> So, needless to say. Um, so, I have a book page. We have part of a map. We have one of those pages that we get from, you know, either AliExpress or um, any of those types of places. I have a piece of fabric, and I have one of those little tabby pieces that you get from when you buy sneakers. So this is a very old vintage book, and this I had pulled from, this is from a book from 1851. This was a book that I had picked up. As you can see, it is very old, very, very vintage. It actually has a very thin tissue paper type intro. This page I will never use. This I'm probably going to frame this page. I like this page so much that I will probably frame this page. And as you can see, it's from 1851. It's called A, a Grandmother's Recollections by Ella Rodman. And Entered according to Act of Congress in the year 1851 by Charles Scribner in the clerk's office of the District Court of the United States for the Southern District of New York. C.W. Benedict Stereotyper and Printer, 201 William Street. So this book, when I got it, had no cover. Mary something, and I can't really read it. Um, it was, I got it off of eBay probably two years ago. Um, I used to, what I used to do, I have quite a few vintage books now. Um, I used to scour vin vintage books and stuff. Look at that. Um, and what I used to do was anytime I would see like these really, really old vintage books that were in really, really bad condition, people were just willing to give, give them away for a song and I would bid on them. And needless to say, I used to get them for like next to nothing. So I have quite a few really, really old ones that I don't really feel bad about getting like tearing into them and stuff because they're really in bad condition but like I said there's certain pages and stuff like in here like that one and even like the pictured pages I very well probably won't use if they're in good condition like that one too I may very well may not use I will probably put them in some type of album like I said in one of my videos in my next house I want to have a library <laughs> So let's see how quickly we could do this, but let's, so we have the book page, we have the map. Looks like I was already starting to work on something with the map. And what I did was I pulled these, I pulled these pieces out of, um, I have a um, scraps pile. So it looks like I was trying to make something out of this. So let's go with it. What was I trying to make? <laughs> it looks like a folder of some sort. Um, So that kind of looks pretty cool, actually. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stay with that. And we will put something inside the envelope. I didn't even notice that that was what I was working on. Okay, so let's do a little bit of gluing. I'm going to use this because it's shiny. So I hope everybody is well. So when I post this, 
It will be Friday, so today will be the last day for you to get in on my giveaway. Just see, what would the best way to do this? Because I might make this into two separate pockets here. Let's try this here. I think that's what I might have been trying to work on here. So I think we're going to put it here and here. And then, like I said, on Saturday, I will videotape, you know, I will uh, film the um, videotape. Oh, good grief, Leslie, you're really showing your age. Um, <laughs> I'll film, I'll film the um, drawing the winner. And then, um, you know, needless to say, I, I will make sure that there's, you know, a limited time period for the winner to, of course, get in touch with me. Because I see that Tony had the same issue where the first person that she pulled the winner for, the person didn't get in touch with her. So she had to pull a second, second winner. All right, so the way that I had folded this, I have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. So we have, let me get a little, let me, we got, put something here, put something here, put something here, and then you can put something back behind there okay so you got multiple pockets there that's pretty cool all right let's see here let's do some tearing here I'm shooting this on Tuesday. I have a little bit of time. I have to go and get some blood work done. So I figured, let me try and get at least part of this filmed. If I can. though. I don't think so. I'm going to cut the bottom off, I think, a little. John and I last night went to go see Renfield with uh, Nicolas Cage, and I don't know the other guy, the actor's name. <laughs> I don't know his name. But, um, it kind of had looked a little campy, but um, I I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it after seeing you know the extended um, video for the trailer. I was like, oh man, this looks really kind of stupid. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be in all reality. It really was not that bad. There was at least a half an hour worth of trailers. No exaggeration. I was like, I was like, is the movie ever going to start? I mean, we didn't go to the movies until like nine o'clock on a Monday night, so.
that was late in itself. I was like, holy cow. I think that should be okay. I think that's far enough in. I don't know. Should I take it down a little bit more? Maybe you should take it down a little bit more. Maybe we'll take off a little off the top. Give it a little bit of a haircut. So I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. I truly appreciate it. As you can see now, I am finally monetized. So I can't say thank you enough for that. So I want to say thank you to everybody who will, you know, sit through and watch the 30 seconds worth of advertising. I truly appreciate that because that will help me to put back into the channel. That's for sure, because, you know, the little bit of money that they do give, it, it will definitely help me. Believe me. All right, so this I plan on doing this. Oops. I'm gonna cut this out and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to pause this because I'm gonna to have to get ready to go to my blood work appointment. Hopefully my head's not annoying. And then we will come back and finish this up, which will be not even two seconds for you. And I have to run to Dollar Tree because the other day when I went, I forgot to get garbage bags. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we're gonna put Archimedes on the front. I think we're going to just use glue stick for Archimedes. I just want to get him stuck down because who knows we may we may stitch Archimedes on there. I'm going to pause it here for you guys and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So what was a minute or two seconds for you was a couple hours for me. <laughs> so, all right. So let's get back to this. We were working on Archimedes. So, um, so I'm thinking what we can do, this can be, I'm thinking I wouldn't want to put this glued onto a page because needless to say, you have this where it's not all, I mean, I, I could actually, I could probably use the rest of this it might work right, well, well let's try it it's not gonna be sturdy enough though I really need something heavier let me get my folder scraps out here get the scraps out
because I know I definitely have stuff that's stronger in here. Yeah, I definitely have. I have folder pages and stuff in here. Just don't know if they're gonna be wide enough. Now I have my window open, so you're gonna hear birds since I feed the birds outside. I think I'm better off with that. Yep, we're gonna go with that. You're gonna hear lawn mowers. <laughs> You're gonna hear all that stuff. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's see if this is gonna work. How has the weather been by you? Here has been a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> We've had rain, thunder. Um, it was raining this morning. That's why the picture was so dark. And then, um, you know what, I can't, shouldn't have did it that far down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna piece this together, I think. I'm going to do this only because I want it to be sturdier. I probably don't need it to be sturdier. You know what? I'm just going to wipe this off. If it's going to be put onto a page, it's not going to be, it's not going to need to be sturdier. weather has been so wacky. We had such warm weather through the winter and then now that you know spring is here. I shouldn't say that because I want to say we probably are getting spring because it's not real hot. what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to now. There's my pencil. I'm going to do this on an angle, I think. Yes, I'm going to get out the fancy scissors. <laughs> the kitty scissors. up a little bit and I am using gathered twigs for this just bear with me my shoulder is absolutely killing me today we didn't have those lush luxurious seats last night at the movie theater <laughs> We had the old fashioned seats, not the ones that recline and stuff last night. And uh, you get spoiled. OK, 
Okay, so now I can't put anything there, so we are gonna have to use this, which is fine. So we'll have that. I wanna try to make something here. Should be tall enough. Yep, make something out of that. Or do I want to do it this way? Because we can always make that taller. No, I'm trying not to waste any paper here. <laughs> so I've been listening to the audio book of, um, I don't know where you're gonna fit. I'm trying to piece this together here. Of the Mayfair Witches. I listened to it many, many years ago um, well, I didn't listen to it. I actually read it. Um, and funny thing is, it's like I forgot how in detail it was because, you know, she went into great detail of, you know, the families, like all the, the generations of the witches. I totally forgot all about that. You know, when I was younger, when I read it, and I remember I was bored. <laughs> I was bored with a lot of that. But not now. And especially because I'm listening to it even more so now. It's a lot easier listening, having somebody read it to you. See what this is going to look like here. No, oh, that's pretty good. All right, so we have the rest of that page, and then we can still make something here. So I still need more paper. Let's get out more. scraps and then I'm still going to be using that so yeah, music paper I have that I had originally pulled that John had bought ribs. Um, they were a really good price at Costco. Like that. Have some of that. So I actually have them in the oven right now. So I'm trying to cook them low and slow. So I have a Memphis barbecue rub on them. Oh, let's work with those. 
and see what we can do with this. This I really don't want to do much to. I like the page the way it is. Um, you know what I had? Oh no, I don't want to cover it up though. I think that's all I'm going to do. Only because I really, really like that. I like that page. Well, let me try and... I don't know, like I said, maybe we'll sew this. Let me take this out because I'm gonna have to do something with that. Let me take that out too, because I don't wanna get that all messed up. Yeah, I think what we'll, we'll do is once these are done, I think I'll sew that. I'm just going to back that onto something that's a little bit heavier. Yep, that way. There we go. I'm going to be getting ready to start getting the fairy um, boxes prepared. I think I have almost all of the stuff that I need for the, the boxes. on that side yeah I do so I will keep you guys informed of when those are going to be ready and I am going to do five boxes so I will have five boxes that you guys will be able to purchase and they will have, they will be th fairy themed boxes. And of course, I will show you everything that will be inside of the box. I wouldn't do it any other way. And then um, just waiting on 
John and I are going to be working on the living room. There's something he wants to do, and we didn't get to do it on his days off. So hopefully we're going to do what he wants to do on those days that he's off this coming week and then hopefully we can move the cat box out of here so that I can move that piece. I don't know if I can do this. No, I can't. Because I got pretty much a lot of stuff organized. Um, I did buy a couple more things from Dollar Tree. Let me know down below if you want to see some of the stuff that I purchased at Dollar Tree for organization. I had gone again after my blood work appointment because I forgot to get garbage bags because I needed garbage bags because I use garbage bags for my um, my garbage in here and also for in the bathroom because I need the littler ones. And last time I was there, of course, I forgot them. Ugh. So I went in there after my appointment, hence the reason why I didn't get home until later. But, um, yeah, so I was in there a little bit longer than normal. So, yeah, I did pick up a couple of things. So I may do a Dollar Tree haul. I have a couple things. really liking this gathered twig. I really like this color. I like it a lot. They had some really neat stuff in Dollar Tree that I had never seen before, too. I was like, wow. Like, new stuff. I mean, it was new to me. I've never seen it before. Never saw it. I am going to start working on more digitals. Um, as long as my hands are okay, I'm gonna try and pull out my Procreate and try and see if I can, um, hmm, do I wanna use that? Yeah. See if I can um, try and do some creating and procreate. need I need my little tool here because I like to scrunch this stuff up if I can so yeah I put um, a little bird feeder thing out on a there's a shepherd's hook outside that um, one of my neighbors, when she moved, she had asked me if I had wanted it. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So I've been putting, um, 
I put one of those baskets, those bird food baskets out there. And holy cow, they love it. So I've been putting the suet feeder. And then I had a whole bunch of like leftover nuts and seeds and stuff. So I've been putting those and stuff out for that, for them. And the types of birds that have been coming out, I'm like, John looked up some of them. And I can't remember what it was, like a, a some kind of black bird. It has like an orange and white on its feather, on its on its uh, wing wings. And of course the squirrels. Oh, am I going to have to cut you down a little bit? Of course I am. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Always. Oh, you know what? I want to use a button with, I think, Archimedes, maybe. I don't know yet. We still got to work on Archimedes. All right. All right, so we got that part. Let's go back to... back to Archimedes because I have an idea for Archimedes. I want to put these I got at Dollar Tree. They had these at one of the Dollar Trees. They had them in a whole bunch of different colors. So I got the purple and the pink and then the, the navy and like the tealish type color. So what I've been doing is I've been putting my sorry silks and ribbony type loose pieces in here and then in this one I have my snippets and stuff <laughs> and I have a flower in here and I'll tell you it's easy because they're right here <laughs> it's right here Because I'm going to use this, I think. Yeah, the songbirds. Oh, I love, I love listening to the birds. So when I'm sitting there in my chair, it's going to be different now if we go moving around the living room. But, um...
I like. Okay. All right, and then we're still gonna use that yet. So where is my other glue? Let's glue this down. So I was thinking about who of my generation used to watch PBS, Public Broadcasting Systems, on TV. I think it's still on TV. Um, who remembers Masterpiece Theater? And who remembers Mystery? Well, Mystery was always my favorite, but I also liked Masterpiece Theater. I am thinking about creating a series based on both Masterpiece Theater and Mystery. How might you do that, Leslie? <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> what I'm thinking about doing is taking, like we'll do like a mystery series, okay? Where we would do, um, take a mystery book. Um, I'll find a book, um, I don't know, maybe an, maybe we'll do an Agatha Christie book. I don't know. I have to, I have to find a book that would be time relevant to, of course, what I want to do. But, um. Needless to say, I would have to find a mystery genre, and we would have to create stuff from a whole entirety a whole entirety. We would have to create something from a whole entire mystery book. I don't know, I keep going to that for some reason. It's too big though. Would you guys be interested in something like that? If you would, please let me know please let me know down in the comment section because I don't want to go and start a series that I don't think you guys would be interested in. Kind of like that. much. All right. I found my spot. We're going right here. And then I think to add a little bit more of that on here if I can.
you know, and then eventually, you know, we could do, you know, um, a masterpiece theater one. We could do where we do, you know, a classical book. You know, of course, because those will take a lot longer to do because we're going to be using up a whole entire book, of course. Yeah, it's covering too much of that up. All right, let me move these over. Yeah, oh, you're gonna hear crying again. Little girl's getting yelled at again, of course, next door. Never a dull moment next door. If she's not throwing a temper tantrum, she's getting yelled at for something. Okay, now we have to come up with, we still have to do this on the bottom. Let me glue him down. I just got to figure out where I want to put him. He's going to go right there. Weather has been so wacky today. Started off raining, then it it started to clear up, and then it was like really, really dark when I was getting ready to leave. Like the clouds were really dark. And I'm like, okay. And then as I'm driving to my appointment, blue skies and one big white puffy clouds. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> like, what's going on? And then, of course, I'm getting ready to leave. And here come the big dark black clouds again. I'm like, what's going on? I... I mean, I know it's supposed to rain off and on. Okay. All right. So we have for the pocket here, we have for the pocket here, and now I need for the pocket here.
Let's see. All right, so we have that. Ooh, that fits. That's two different pages. I'm just going to glue these together for right now. So has anybody seen any good movies lately? They did show a preview last night for Boogeyman. It said it was from the creations of um, Stephen King, so I don't know if it's from one of his short stories. I'm not sure. Probably. I'm thinking it probably was. Yeah, let's just say I cut that down. didn't look too bad but I think John said it was was it did he say it was PG-13 I was like ugh alright that might be good That's the same stuff. I don't want to use the same stuff. I don't know. Lately, I've been awfully neutral. try and use like something like that here with that kind of color on it and then use like that. I think we might do that. Okay, let me get this part done. I 
what you want, Caesar. Hmm? holding out on this because I bought this and then I cut the thing and I'm like oh I wasn't supposed to cut it <laughs> I'm like I'm like I need my art glitter glue I had to go back this stuff I mixed it with, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it doesn't dry. It's just horrible. This is old vintage paper. I won't be throwing this away. I will be keeping this for... Go back in my scrap bin. There's nothing like art glitter glue. It is worth every single penny, in my opinion. Every single penny. I mean, we try out these different glues and stuff, and uh, the more the more money you spend on trying different glues, the more you're better off just spending the money on the glue that you know that works. I, I, that's just how I feel anymore. Because there's just no equivalent to the ones that work for you. That's just how I feel. If they work for you, don't alter from it. I mean, unless they go out of business or something, then that's some completely different. You know, then you really don't have much choice then. That's completely different.
it's gonna be upside down, but that's okay. All right, last but not least, let's put on good old Archimedes here. That should be good. I just want to make sure they're not going to get stuck together here. All right, so there you have it. Friday at 5 item challenge finished product. So again, we have this piece we had this piece here we had the fabric we had Archimedes that came from this piece of paper here and we had the map page that we had so we were able to get this multiple pocket out of here. So we have one. We have two. Come on. And we have three. There we go. So we have a pocket that we can actually put into any junk journal. And so now we have another piece of ephemera. So that is why I like the Friday at Five Item Challenges. So if this is a series that you would like to see me bring back, please let me know down in the comment section down below if that is something you would like to see me do. And also, too, also let me know if you would like to see the mystery series that I had mentioned earlier. If that is something you would like to see me create going forward from like the PBS series where I will take a mysteries, uh, like a book, say, like... Um, Agatha Christie or something like that and we have to take that whole entire book and make something from it. 
So please let me know down in the comment section down below if that is something you think that would be something you guys would be interested in. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Take care, everybody.